coil. So let's try this one. This one, that seems to work. So we pull that one off. Let's just try this one. Of course, if it's on there, it could be giving me a false reading as well. Right, what did I say? Red and white. So that's this one and this one. So we're getting a reading across the brushes. And across there. And across there. So any of those should work. Uh, into a brush. Brush to a thing. Thing to another one. Let's try it like that. See if that works. Of course, I may have blown a fuse somewhere in the line as well, just now. Contact. I suspect we've blown a fuse. Let's just put some voltage on and check. Yeah, there's volts coming out of the... There's voltage coming out of the variac, so it's not that one. Let's just put it in there. There's 100 volts on this at the moment. Can't, uh... Should be 100 volts coming out of here. AC. Nothing doing there, right? Okay, we might have lost a fuse in here. And this plug, so let's check that. Someone's been in at this already. Three amp fuse, maybe that's the problem. Three amps should be enough for the motor, but not if there's a fault. No, three amps. Turn to continuity, of course. I'm testing that for continuity. Yeah, oh no, same. Same that fuse is working, so that's peculiar. Put in a 13 amp fuse, anyways, just because. Could that have been the issue with the machine? No, if the fuse would have blown, it wouldn't have stopped the power, it would have just blown. It's not a restrictor. Fuse back in, let's check for continuity from, that plug's been sat on, see it's all pushed off there. So this cable seems okay. Okay, let's plug that back in, still, still got a few, still got a hundred volts coming into it. So it should be live now. Put that to voltage. Yeah, 96 is what it's coming through. Okay, so it might work this time. Let's turn it off again. 15 minutes in, this is real world here. Let's turn it off. Turn down the Variac. Wire it up again. What way do we have it? Uh, this one. And this one. Yeah, the science behind, or the electricity behind electronics, whatever you want to call it, behind wiring these, it's in another video of mine called How to Wire a Universal Washing Machine Motor. Um, that explains it. It's better to watch that than this. Let's turn on the power again. And at long last, we're working. So that's running fine. This machine is now ready for destruction. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, it's wobbling already. See you later.